Emma, is she your mom? Yeah. She is my dearest and nearest. I know. Who's that guy? He's my brother-in-law, Andy. He got married to my half-sister, Rose, seven years ago. And they have two children, Tom and Sarah. Cute kids! Exactly! They're twins! What? They aren't much alike. Yeah, everybody says that. Do they live here? In L.A.? No, my whole family lives in New York. Just me and my cousin Ava live here. How often do you get together? Once a year in the new year. Once a year? Is that enough? Not at all, but I always are in touch with them on the internet. What does your sister do? She is the executive manager. She works at an international firm. So, she doesn't have a minute to call her own. Yeah, and my mom has a big responsibility, raising the children. Your mom? I reckon she isn't young enough to look after them. Sure, but she doesn't feel depressed anymore. Happily, there is a friendly relationship between them, and it's a big chance for us to work better. That's great to hear. What about your cousin? How often do you visit her? We generally go out for dinner at the weekend. Do you get along well with each other? Oh, yes, totally. Although there is a 10-year age gap between us, we do get along well. We have much in common. Both Ava and I wear the same kind of clothes and eat the same kind of food. We both have the same taste in music too. That's wonderful to hear. It's always nice to have such a close and compatible relative. Absolutely. Ava is an amazing person, and we have lots of fun together. What about your family, Tina? Actually, I'm an only child, just like my mom and dad. Kidding? So you had a lonely childhood? No, not really. I have a cousin, Lisa. I mean, she is my mom's cousin. Lisa and I grew up together. Although there was a strong bond between us, we had different tastes in everything. Really? Like how? Well, Lisa was a sporty girl, while I was a real couch potato. I was an avid reader, but Lisa prefers watching movies. Lisa was an early bird, whereas I was a night owl. Finally, all these differences caused us to grow apart from each other and lose touch with Lisa. How unfortunate. And Alex? He works around the clock in Chicago. I see him from time to time. It must be quite challenging for him. I hope he finds some time to relax and recharge. Absolutely, he understands the importance of balancing work and personal life. Although he works hard, he also takes occasional breaks to unwind and spend time with family and friends. That's good to know. It's essential to maintain a healthy work-life balance. What did you do to lose so much weight, Tina? Well, I was a super cute baby with chubby cheeks. After I married Alex. He had to work around the clock to make a decent living. So I felt lonely and deeply disappointed. My favorite hobby was watching long hours of TV shows. Lying on the sofa. And snacking. That's no good. It sounds like emotional eating to me. I think so too. Because there is a strong connection between mood and food. What happened next? Little by little, I turned into a short and dumpy woman. Nobody recognized me. Or they thought I was expecting a baby. Anyway, what did you do to stay in shape? I did a lot to stay in shape. First, I had to accept Alex's demanding work schedule and start exercising. Then, I had to avoid high-calorie foods and focus on eating vegetables. Those are good ideas. 
How often did you exercise? About four or five times a week. What activities did you do to lose weight? Fortunately, there was an excellent pool near my house, so I went swimming for about one and a half hours. I also played golf on a golf course for about an hour. Golf? Did you find it to be a way to lose weight? Actually, it is. Although this isn't the best form of exercise it can help me to uplift the mood. Through these exercises, I burned approximately 8,000 calories. Oh, my goodness. And that's not even counting the activities you had to do during the day. Exactly. In addition, I made an effort to avoid unhealthy eating habits, skip foods rich in calories like rice, pasta, and bread, and instead opted for healthier options. I can imagine that watching the diet is always challenging. It can be especially when we have cravings for sweets. But nothing tastes as good as being healthy feels. True. What do you do to stay healthy? I definitely engage in exercises to maintain my health. I mainly focus on cardiovascular exercises to improve my physical health, which also helps me relieve stress and clear my mind. It's like a natural form of therapy for me. Plus, I love the feeling of my heart pumping and the surge of energy that comes with it. I completely understand what you mean. The endorphin rush and increased blood flow during cardiovascular exercises can have a powerful impact on our mental state. It's fascinating how physical activity can contribute to our overall emotional well-being. Do you do any specific cardiovascular exercises that you enjoy them? Definitely. I'm a big fan of running. I find it liberating to hit the pavement and let my worries fade away with each step. It not only challenges my endurance but also allows me to explore new places when I run outdoors. The fresh air and changing scenery make it even more enjoyable. Running is a fantastic choice. It's a versatile exercise that can be done almost anywhere and at any time. Exploring new places while running sounds like a wonderful way to keep things exciting and maintain your motivation. Do you follow a specific diet? I haven't done anything special. I'm one of those people who can eat and eat, enjoy meals, and never gain weight. That's really fortunate. It sounds like you have a high metabolism or a naturally balanced body that efficiently processes the food you consume. It must be nice to be able to enjoy meals without worrying about gaining weight.